is the moment. Tonight is the night. Uh, so I'm mostly making this video because I had a gentleman ask about uh, what's going to happen now that Binance is, um, uh, you know, in some pickle, in a pickle, I guess. Uh, but, um, so this is to Earl. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a very uh, valid question because they do hold, obviously, look, like we, we know, again, like, now that you said that, let me check because, like, what if, like, all of a sudden they're selling, right? So let's at least look into that, obviously. Okay, so, like, 68, 42, that's 100 million. Let's just round. Uh, uh, 107 million. A hundred and ten million, a hundred and thirteen million, a hundred and fifteen million. So yeah, they're. I mean, and I'm rounding it. So yeah, they're still holding the hundred twenty million, and which is crazy because again, it's a hundred twenty million out of like a billion. So that's more than ten percent of the supply. Um, I really think this is a dead wallet. Uh, it says literally dead in it, <laughs> like, um, and it hasn't moved in almost a year. But I don't know. Don't like quote me on that but if they take this out of the circulation supply that will obviously reflect positively on the uh, price too so just keep that in mind um but so one of the reasons why i think that uh oxt that orchid isn't gonna get hit with the um with the finance getting sued and and all that stuff is because they actually do have a sec filing uh you could find this on the website so you go on the website oops, so you go on their website you go under you go under uh, about, yeah. So you go under about, and then you could actually see the corporate information and the SEC filing right here. So you click it, and then you can actually see that they're filed. Uh, where's their code? Will be the number. Is that their corporate code? I don't know. Uh, file ID number. Um, yeah, so you could actually like check into this and actually go see if it's still good to go, which I believe it is. Um, so they do have an SEC filing, so they're doing everything right. They're not like, they're not getting sued and then like filing with the SEC. They're very transparent in that. They're like, we're, we're a VPN. We're gonna try to make the best VPN ever uh, here. We're gonna put it on our website, voila. Um, so I don't think so. And for my sake, I hope that it doesn't go down, Earl, like you. We're both obviously in this coin. We're trying to make a lot of money. So I, I don't think so, right? I'm showing you uh, SEC filing um, and that finance is still holding. So, um, I'm really hoping it doesn't go down. I think we floored, so hopefully I'm right and we actually start going back up um, because like, I really think this is gonna be over a dollar coin. Um, I will never stop saying that. I, That's my target, over a dollar. Um, and I think that's uh, I think that's a fair target um, for OXT. So uh, they just really need to come out with another product or they need to like work on their product, come out with the window. Like there's a lot of updates. There's a lot of things that we're waiting on hearing from them. Um, but anyway, let's do some quick TA. So I remember I said, um, what is it? Like six, um, six, six, seven, no, six, six, two needed to hold and it did again, miraculously, uh, which is absolutely insane. Uh, so we are still uh, bearish on the stock RSI. We're neutral on the RSI. So it, honestly, it could go either way. And yeah, of course, yeah, 674, the 382 held again. I didn't think it was going to held because my last video, I said that if we tag it again, I think we're going to probably fall back down, but it actually held. Um, so that's a really good sign. Um, so what we need to do is uh, if, but see, that's the problem. If we don't get above uh, the five at 732 uh, anytime soon, uh, then we are gonna come back down and most likely we're just gonna bleed out like we always do with OXT. So these are just some targets. Uh, I'll make another video if it decides to do something, but that's what I think, you know, we had a nice recovery. It got bought back up, that's great, but we just need to keep this momentum going. I don't know if we're strong enough to get, have it go. I don't know if the volume, the buy volume is gonna come. Um, but, and we did tag it and we got rejected. So uh, it's either gonna be a slow bleed out and 674 again, hopefully needs to hold. It's a really strong support at this point, uh, but obviously every single time you tag it, it becomes weaker and weaker. So we might hit the 236 at 603. So 
anytime you look at your phone and you see your uh, you see your uh, OXT ticker above 603, that's so bullish. You can still maintain this uptrend and this, you know, you could argue this um, uptrend and uh, it's still bullish technically. Um, on the upside, uh, we need to get above all these, I don't even want to say, right? I mean, if you're an OXT, you know this thing just pops. When it pops, it gets out, it gets out of here. And we're not looking at this like 50, 40% pop. We're looking at like these, we're looking at this. Right, I mean, at least that's what I am. Like, we're looking at this move, where it's like, you know, it goes from, it goes from, you know, 10 cents to a dollar. Where is that? Let's see. Oh, there is the, the famous move that got me really excited with bullish, uh, with uh, OXC. It goes all the way down to 10 cents, 9 cents, and then all of a sudden it 10 X's in what? March, April, May, June, July, August, in five months had like 10 X's. That's insane gains. That's great. Falls all the way back down, goes back, gets it back. So it's, um, we're just waiting for that big move. We're just waiting for that giant green candle. Anyway, please like, subscribe, comment. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I could actually monetize my channel. That would be great. Um, uh, I will make some videos on the other coins as soon as possible. Thank you.